We have a secret brother of Ether SX2 emulator. We'll be testing this emulator and see if it's real or Bruh. fake. This emulator's gaining too much hype in the community, so let's dive into the video and check it out. Recently Damon SX2 Pro emulator got released. Which is a complete ripoff of Ether SX2, basically an older build of Ether SX2. Which is available on Google Play Store to download, for, just $4. And now we have another dude joining the party. And this guy is, PPSS22 Turbo. Now note that this emulator is free unlike the Daemon SX2, but it contains ad. And also if you see here, this emulator just have 10,000 downloads, and if you scroll down to about this app, you will see that it has some basic features such as, OpenGL, Vulkan and software rendering, upscaling of, games to 1080p and beyond, widescreen patches for games without native support, save states, touchscreen and Bluetooth controller support, with many other features. And it was last updated on July 28, 2022. And was recently released on May 10, 2022. Now as I mentioned earlier, this is free but it does contain ads. If you want to play games with it you need to also download the PPSS 22 ARM64 plugin for it, which also contains ad. Now my friends let's take a look at this innovative logo here. That is oddly familiar, and we all know that, it is not even a bit similar to PCSX2 logo. With some colors that no one has seen before. And also the screenshots of this emulator are not similar to Daemon SX2. Now if we take a look at the layout here it's just the same controller layout. Compared with PPSS22 Turbo expect this joystick. It doesn't look like that these both developers are different, like Daemon SX2 is by MNTP Private Limited, and PPSS22 Turbo has been developed by Blue Oliver's and he have two apps. Okay so now let us finally install the PPSS22 Turbo. And then finally open it. So, on the welcome screen it is says, welcome and then my friend it says, this emulator also. Support PS1, 3Ds, PS2, PSP, NES, SNES, MAME, again SNES, GOBE, Wii, Arcade and many more. What many more, it looks like this emulator is developed by some kind of 7 dimensional being, there's nothing new to be discovered now. This emulator is everything. And then you click the OK button. And this is the yellow color interface of this emulator. This is the home page, and in search tab there. Is like an inbuilt store to download ROMs for any type of game over different platforms like Nintendo, PS1, PS2, Wii and many more. So let's click on PlayStation 2. Alright so here are all the games for PS2. As you can see there are many different games, that you can download directly into your emulator. Now if I click on any game you can see that we can actually download it, that's the best. Thing of this emulator. And if I can back, then home tab. And then this download button, you can see that our file is downloading here, so let's wait for it to download it. So I don't know why but it's taking some time, for scanning the ROM I guess. Now note that scanning can take up to 10-15 minutes depending upon the size of your ROM. Now let's finally run it, as you can see here is the game, as.
you can see the game is running and if you click on settings, this will look exactly same as the settings in Ether SX2. And here everything is similar to Ether SX2, the settings, all the options and even their sequence with just some rare changes. Now according to me the developer just reverse engineered Ether SX2. So let me show you its gameplay, ok so the game works really fine and smooth. Now, also note that I waited for 30 seconds because of the ad, like even if it booted the game. Now it clearly looks the PPSS22 Turbo has stolen code from Ether SX2 and just made a few changes, with the interface. And just like this, I mean fake emulators like this keeps on growing. For Android devices I would only suggest you guys these two emulators, one is the Play emulator and the other one is Ether SX2. Now note that Ether SX2 is better in terms of performance and system compatibility. So let's come to the conclusion. Is PPSS22 Turbo fake? Yes, but our game worked. So it is not fake, it's like a copied version of an older Ether SX2 version. Now I would highly recommend you guys not to use this emulator. Because the it's Ether SX2 emulator that truly deserves something, these copy. Emulators are just talk videos. That started spoiling the whole community. So please don't show any kind of support to these copycats. That's all I wanted to say, so guys I hope you like this video. Also like this video subscribe my channel and turn on all notifications, and share this video with your friend, ciao.